Hello again. Welcome back to Asgard and welcome back to Enigmatica 2. So I've actually had a fairly busy weekend. Um, a pretty busy weekend. So this episode might be coming out a little bit late today. We'll see. Uh, but for those of you that were curious, my mom did have her meeting with the doctor and all that stuff, you know, <laughs> this weekend. And uh, I'm happy, I'm happy to say that, uh, it was a false alarm. You know, it was something that, I guess, seemed like it was cancer, but it's not, so that's good. Uh, it's very, very good. It was a lot of stress off of us, so, uh, but she did have that this weekend, and, um, everything's, everything's good. Everything's in the, in the clear, so. Um, also, uh, back in here, Theana mentioned, uh, right after last episode, um, and I actually had a couple other comments, but Theana was the first one to bring it up. The advanced, the advanced connectors, they transfer 100,000. So, as opposed to, you know, the 10,000. So, I've got those plugged up. So, we can now uh, insert and extract 100,000. I went ahead and upgraded those. So, big thank you. <laughs> totally, totally didn't even think about using those. So... Uh, that's awesome. That kind of fixes our power issue. I did bump these back up to 16 speed upgrades. We'll probably end up bumping them up to 20 speed upgrades. But that kind of solves the whole issue of all of our nuclear craft stuff up here. So, um, also, since last episode, let me actually go down here to be a little bit quicker. Pop over to the power system. I have been working in here a little bit. Um, I'll go ahead and give you guys a sneak peek of what's going on in here. Um, steadily working in here so i showed this to you like last episode or whatever uh, but i have been i have been working here this is like all chisels and bits every bit of it um, except for this this is just glowstone blocks but they're going to be all hidden back in there so um but anyways this is going to be once uh once the server tours are done we're going to come back and we're going to well not immediately after but we are going to be setting up a reactor in here a fusion reactor so, um, and then let's go ahead and pop over here. Let's go ahead and jump into what we're going to be doing today. And that is, I want to work on getting the, uh, let me go ahead and pull it up here. The matter condenser right here, um, which we need 10,000 pistons and we need to make a quantum compressor, which takes blocks of black iron, pistons, compressors, auto compressors. Most of this stuff is pretty cheap, uh, to actually craft the quantum compressor, but we are going to have to get an advanced crafting table. Uh, this right here. This is all fairly standard to make. Luminescence is standard. Um, and then we just need materials and black iron. Okay, and black iron does require an induction smelter. We're going to have to get that. We also need elite. Um, if you take a, well, actually, if you take a look at the matter condenser, we are going to need an elite compressing factory and for the quantum compressor, an elite compressing factory. So we need two of those. And that's honestly where a bit of the work comes in is is crafting the elite tier can uh tier installers because for this we're gonna need plutonium which luckily we have enough of that from exploring i've got like i don't know five ingots or something like that um the atomic alloy and the ultimate control circuit uh, the ultimate control circuit is the big issue and i do have some black iron in here i have six blocks from exploring we are gonna have to make some more of that but we'll go ahead and pull that out um that'll give us that'll let us get started and if we take a look at the extended crafting mod, um, to make the advanced, we're going to need one of the basic, these are, okay, there's a little bit more expensive right there. <laughs> but this, we're going to need a block of iron, basic component. Um, we're going to need four, five, six, seven, eight, eight basic components, um, which is like this. But let's go ahead and get ourselves some luminescence. Um, what am I out of? What was that? Redstone? Am I really out of redstone? Oh. <laughs> okay, one second. Let me go, uh, let me go mining real quick. Um, actually, I think the best place would be the deep dark. False alarm, not time to start the episode just yet. I've got to go mine up redstone. I had mined some between episodes, but, uh, I'm always struggling with, uh, with redstone among other things, so. I'll be back here in just a minute. So back to what we were doing, luminescence, there is a stack and some extras, and then we are going to need, let's see, I've got, okay, I've got 293 emeralds, that's coming from, uh, that's coming from the magic bean farm, um, 
Okay, back to extended crafting. So the basic crafting table, I said we're going to need eight, eight of these. I can't make those through like a metal farm or anything. Ugh, okay. So I'm going to need quite a bit of these. We'll go ahead and get 13 for now. I'd like to get at least get the basic crafting table out of the way. And this has to, oh, this has to be crafted in uh, the basic table. So we're actually going to need two of these then, <laughs> in fact. Awesome. Okay, well, let me go ahead and dump in some of that. Let's go ahead and get 13 of those. Then we're going to need two of these basic catalysts. And then we need uh, eight more of these. So I'm going to need five. Okay, yeah, we'll be able to pull off these, but then I'm going to have to make, I'm going to have to make the black iron. Um, so there is that. Then we are going to need two of these. And then we are going to probably need crafting tables. Yes, let me just order. Oh, let me just order four of these. Okay, there's one. And then we need that. That, there's two. Okay. Well, that's kind of... I want to... Well, you know, it's not really the most expensive part because this has the advanced... It's got the catalyst. It's got four of those, which, of course, is four components. Yeah, we're going to need a lot more black iron. Okay, let's go ahead and we'll work on getting the black iron together. And to make black iron, we have to do it in the induction smelter. There is no other way around that. So... That's like the only, I believe the only recipe. Yeah. So we're going to have to make ourselves, um, let's see, it's tough alloy from nuclear craft and blocks of invar from thermal. Uh, that gets us four of them. You can also use HLP graphite for three, graphite blocks for three, uh, coal coke for three, magnesium diboride for three, and then black quartz for two. Okay, well, we're going to go with the tough alloy because that's easy to make. Um, okay, so we are going to need to get an induction smelter done, which actually isn't that expensive. Um, induction smelter, we're going to need a machine frame, which takes some Inori crystal. Um, also takes a device frame, which I'm pretty sure we actually have on hand. No, we don't. Okay, well, we can make one of these just like that. There we go. Um, the Inori crystal... I do have a bit of on hand and then we are also going to need to get ourselves uh, for the machine frame we're gonna need an iron casing a heavy engineering block an RF tools machine frame and a Tesla core machine case and that that's gonna make two of them okay engineering block all of these are um, I only have one heavy engineering block just because I haven't plugged it up into a replicator yet but all of these are replicatable so, and then we're also going to need just a piece of glass. I'll be fine. And I'll tell you what, while we're doing this, let's go ahead and get ourselves another power cell and a power cell card. That's probably, that's actually where all my redstone goes is power cells. Okay. So all these machines here, these are ones that uh, we're going to be automating and setting up here soon. We just haven't yet. There's that. Okay, so we'll go ahead and just put down our power cell setting. Right here is fine, actually. Um, output, drop that in there. There we go. We'll go ahead and dump in uh, glass. It's right there. And order crystals. Device frame. Okay, and it's heating up right now. And I imagine this is actually probably going to unlock a quest. There's a quest here, yeah, to get machine frames. And we get a machine frame, a signal upgrade kit, and a compression dynamo. That sounds good. Okay, how much uh, how much liquid does this take? 6,000 millibuckets. Okay, so I'm going to need five more pieces of glass then. Or sand works as well. And I think you can use panes and stuff too. I can't remember, but uh, basically anything that makes glass. We're just going to use standard glass. There we go. There is our machine frames. And quest complete. Detect. There we go. Quest complete. 
Okay, so we're going to get, it's a free machine frame. We'll take it. Okay, and then this stuff, I'm just going to go ahead and, uh, actually the signal upgrade kit. I'm going to go ahead and put this on our, do I want to put it? Yeah, we'll put it on our, our tank here that's making you you matter. So we can now store 512,000 millibuckets. So that'll be fine. A bigger buffer. <laughs> and now that we've got that, uh, we can make the induction smelter fairly simple. Um, it's fairly straightforward to make. Um, I am going to teach one recipe right here. And ooh, I also want to teach... Uh, see, we taught it how to make copper gears. Let's go ahead and teach it how to make uh, Invar gears. Try to automate some of these recipes as we go. And I don't know, I may end up adding more to that. We'll see how much we end up using them. Um, and then I want to teach it another recipe here, and that is to make... Um, see, if we take a look at the induction smelter... The redstone reception coil requires gold and redstone ran through the metallurgic infuser. So let's take... Um, I'm going to go ahead and do 16 at a time with this. And then two compressed redstone. So if you take 16 gold, two compressed redstone. I'm assuming this is one to one. If not, I'll have to change up the recipe a little bit, which is fine. Uh, infusing factory. We'll drop that in there. Our redstone. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> okay, it takes uh, 16 redstone. <laughs> per craft. Okay, so... Uh, one of these, in fact, two compressed redstone, and it's going to get you a redstone reception coil. All right, there you go. And we'll just drop it into there. I may end up having it make more than one later on, but for right now, that'll be fine. Okay, so now we can make our induction smelter. Whoops. There's that. And then if we take a look at uh, the pattern terminal... See, I need to teach us how to make tough alloy. Lithium with ferroboron, which ferroboron is boron and steel. I need to teach it all of this stuff. Okay, if you take 16 steel, 16 boron, and you run it through the alloy furnace, you are going to get a whole bunch of ferroboron. There we go. And then if you take... Uh, Let's see how much lithium. I've got plenty of lithium. If you take 32 lithium, you take 32 ferroboron. Oops, I shouldn't have thrown that in there. Uh, you're going to get a stack of tough alloy. This stuff, you, it seems like we use it quite a bit, so I'm just going to go ahead and just make it by the stack. So there we go. Boom. And our alloy furnaces, let's go ahead and we'll drop ferroboron into there. We'll drop tough alloy into there. Kind of split them up a little bit. Okay, and let's do one more recipe here, because we need to teach you how to make Invar. Because we need blocks of Invar for this. A little bit expensive. Um, that's how you make 60 Invar. And then I want to teach you one more pattern here. That's how you make blocks of Invar. Okay, so I'm going to order... Let's see, let's do... 20 and... 20. It's 20 blocks of Invar. Great. And our induction smelter. We'll go ahead and just drop this down right here for right now. It's getting power. Let's toss in those. Let me unlock that slot. There we go. It's going to start running and it's going to be slow. Fairly slow. Uh, it's speeding up. Okay, good. Um, we can just kind of let that run in the background while we work on some other stuff. Um, because I also need to start working on getting that Elite Tier Installer. As well as the other tier installers as well. Where is it sending these items? Into here. Okay. Yeah, so it's making four black iron per craft. Which is good. Okay, so while that's running, that's going to take care of the crafting table and actually most of this stuff. Um, the other thing that we're going to have to focus on getting is the tier installers. Now, we are going to need two basic tier installers. So I'm going to go ahead and order those. So there's two of those. Then we're also going to need um, the next tier, which isn't too bad. There is a little bit that we're going to have to do for that, but we're going to have to go ahead and get the Empower. 
Um, the advanced tier installer just requires the reinforced alloy, but it also requires zirconium. Zirconium isn't too bad to Kia. We are going to have to uh, get zirconium dust, which comes from the rock crusher. Um, no biggie. We are probably going to complete a quest right here. So let's go ahead and get our rock crusher. There we go. Let's see, I'm not sure if that completes a quest or not. No, I guess not. Okay. Well, anyways, we got our rock crusher. We'll go ahead and let me get... Uh, Actually, not sure what all I can run through this. Okay, granite, diorite, and andesite. Um, if we want to get zirconium, we're going to have to do diorite. So let's go ahead. We are going to be automating these later on as well. Let's go ahead and just get a stack of diorite. And actually, let me get uh, let me get like 10 speed upgrades. There we go. Drop that down. Toss in our speed upgrades and our diorite. And there we go. We're starting to get zirconium. Which we only need like four pieces of this, so it's not all that bad. Um, there we go. There's four zirconium dust. And we'll just toss this into the furnace. Pile, there we go. And I imagine we're going to need all that stuff. So we are going to, like I said, we're going to automate the rock crusher. We're going to have all that stuff kept on hand. Uh, here soon and then we can just if we need it smelt it phew, there we go we've got it and i think aside from that for the tier the uh, or the advanced tier installer for these we're going to need a little bit more um, i think i've got plenty of the alloys i do i am going to need uh, the control circuits though i'm going to need three more of these there we go i think most of that stuff's on hand at the moment and two of those i actually probably should have automated those because i need them upstairs too but that's fine. That's fine for now. Okay, and then the, the atomic alloy. Okay, now for the big one, the elite tier installer, we need the ultimate control circuits. You could do this through Draconic Evolution, Extended Crafting, or the Empower. Um, and I think uh, the Extended Crafting method yeah, is probably a little bit beyond our means at the moment. Yeah, so I'm going to have to have that. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go for the Empower. And it's actually not even that expensive. Double battery. We're going to need some Inori Crystal. We're going to need some more Inori Crystal. Some Rastonia. Um, we are going to need this right here. And I'm not for sure if I've got... Uh... Okay, I don't have Impregnated Sticks on hand. Oh, we completed a quest. The Advanced Tier Installer. So we'll go ahead and turn that in. We get a Loot Chest. And what did we get? We got a Benevolent Goddess Charm. Okay. Um, anyways, right over here, we've got a squeezer and a carpenter. Um, this we don't actually need at the moment. I'm going to go ahead and move it out of the way. We will put the squeezer right here. Toss in some seeds. And then the carpenter can sit right here. And we'll teach you how to make those impregnated sticks. I think that's right, right? Yeah, that's good. Okay, let me go get a fluid conduit for now. And we'll say extract always active. Probably should got a pressurized one, but that'll be all right. Okay, so that part's running. Let's pop down. Let's get ourselves uh, some iron and some redstone. Well, I'm like almost out of. Uh, do I have restonia on hand? I have four four blocks of it. Let's just use that because I'm getting low on redstone. Um, in Nori, I've got 15. I probably need more. I've got plenty of iron, so... Oh, and there's 64 black iron. That's all black iron as well. Okay, let's set up our atomic reconstructor right there. Let's see, I'm going to grab a button. There we go. There's 64 in Nori crystals. And I don't know that we'll need that anymore, but we'll see. And then there's some impregnate, impregnated sticks. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, we are going to need it because we're going to need uh, the quartz. Let's go ahead and get ourselves, like, a stack of those. And let's see. One of these has to be... Oh, let me see. We're going to need uh, some display stands. Five of these in total. Athletic Grain is Chiseled Quartz. I 
pathetic as standard. Okay. So let's go ahead and get ourselves chiseled quartz. We'll just toss these all down. And pow, there we go. Well, there's a pathetic quartz. It didn't change over the chiseled quartz yet. There we go. Athletic green quartz. And a little bit more impregnated sticks. And then let's go ahead and make the, the five display stands that we're going to need, which take the advanced coils, which take basic coils, which take aluminum wire and lots of impregnated sticks. Okay. We've got a couple of those. Now there's two. Oh, these craft one at a time. This is going to be painful. We need to get into forestry so we can speed all those machines up. That is one of our goals. So I promise. Let me actually... Uh, since we're doing this, let me go ahead and just kind of automate some of the stuff as we go. Okay, I've got the uh, I've got the coils that we need for the display stand. So we're going to go ahead and get five of these. So there's that. That part's done. Knocked out. <laughs> um, and then for the for the empower itself, um, really all we need from this is a double battery. Coil, coil, single battery. Um, so basically I just need two coils is all I really need. Um, which isn't, uh, that's not too bad. But we're going to have to wait on impregnated sticks. So I'll tell you what, while we're waiting on that, let's go ahead. Let me get, uh, yeah, let me get a bunch of these. There's 20. And let's go back to extended crafting for just a minute while that builds up. Um, we are going to need five advanced components. We are going to need five basic components. We are going to need five ultimate components. We are going to need five elite components. There we go. And then we are going to need, uh, if we just do black iron, there is Elite Catalyst, there is Ultimate Catalyst, there is Basic Catalyst, there is Advanced Catalyst. Okay, that part's done. We'll go ahead and just set up our table right here for right now, and Advanced Table, there we go. Okay, <laughs> so that part of it's done. And then we can go ahead and just kind of lay this out. If we take a look at the uh, matter condenser, let's see, we're going to need uh, 26 pistons, four compressors, two auto compressors, two blocks of black iron. Okay, let me go ahead and get this. And then we are also going to want the 26 pistons, compressors, which are luckily very, very cheap. I am going to have to order a basic machine frame. There we go. And then the auto compressors. Okay. And I think I needed four of those. I think. I hope. If not, I just made a lot of extras. Okay, so there's that, that. Actually, I think I only need two, maybe. I'm going to hold on to these for right now. We'll put them all in there here in just a second. So most of that is knocked out. Now we really just need the empower. Um, to make the elite thing, the elite uh, factory, whatever factory it was that we needed. Okay, so I need two advanced coils. All right, there we go. And then the empower itself, we need a double battery, which takes a single battery. There's that. There is that. And then the empower. There we go. Haha. Okay, so most of it's done. It's all like downhill from here. Okay, and then we need... Um, I think it's a compressing factory that we need, right? Yeah. The Osmium Compressor. We're going to need uh, two of these. Okay, I'm just waiting on a little bit of enriched alloy. There we go. So there's one and two Osmium Compressors. And Quest Complete Empower. 
So we'll go ahead and turn, uh, well, actually, let me wait. Let me wait to turn that quest in, because I'm going to be able to turn in, like, all of these <laughs> as well. It's going to be a ton of loot boxes. Okay, so Osmium Compressor, Osmium Compressor. We're going to go ahead and put these down. Basic Tier Installer, and then Advanced Tier Installers. And then we need to make the, the Elite Tier Installer. And I'm going to need to get... Uh, See, I'm going to need something that can transfer a lot of power for just a minute. And I think I'm going to um, I'll actually just use wire connectors, I think. Um, because this is going to be a very temporary setup, of course. Um, we are going to need to get ourselves the elite control circuits, is what we need. And I'm going to need... Uh, Four of these in total. Um, so we're going to need elite, two, uh, four elite control circuits and 16 atomic alloy. And I'm missing redstone. Ah. Well, I can go ahead and order three of these. And then whenever I get back, I, I mean, I'll go mining and get some more redstone and stuff. Oh, uh, what's it crafting at the moment? There we go. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're just going to set up our empower, like right here. Display stand there. It has to be two away from the empower. I kind of wish this was a little bit more modular in the way that it sets up because I actually hate the way it sets up. We'll do a wire relay right there. We are going to, let's pull up this or this. We'll pull up this. That other one's got all that dust and stuff in it. And I'm just going to put that right there for right now. We'll do a connector there. Then we're going to have a connector there, 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 there. And atomic alloy on these stands. A lead control circuit right there. You see it's trying to, it's trying to craft it, but there's no power. This is going to use about 2 million power per craft is what it says in the in JEI. Let's get ourselves some HV wire. We will connect this over to there, this to there, this to there, to there, to there, and then it should start crafting. But it is trying to craft at the moment. It's just not super fast about it. It takes so much power with this, uh, with the Empower, and it takes so much time. I think that's why we'll probably want to upgrade. Oh, it's done. Okay. We will probably want to upgrade this to like uh, the Draconic Evolution method or something like that. But this will be fine for the time being. I actually have to craft up four of these. And actually, once we get two of these, we can go ahead and craft one thing and get it done. Um, and we did complete a quest for Mechanism as well. We're going to turn all those in at the end of the episode. So, Okay, let me go get a little bit more redstone while that's crafting. And get the four of those done. Okay. Our four ultimate control circuits are done. I did go and get a bit more redstone. We've actually got um, 1,051 now. Um, what we are going to make is the elite tier installer. This right here. Now, if you don't have plutonium from exploring, you're going to have to get into extreme reactors. But we've got, uh, we've got plutonium available to us. So we'll go ahead and get two of those. Quest complete, elite tier installer. Oh yeah, we're going to turn in all the quests here in just a second. Then we can take these and boom, boom, upgrade those. Let's go ahead and grab both of these. And inside of here, let's go ahead and lay this out. We want to get the, well, let's see, we want the matter condenser, which takes 10,000 pistons and the quantum compressor. That's what we want. Okay, we only need two auto compressors, but I'll use them later on. Um, and I'm at, I got 26 pistons. It was 16 pistons. I'm losing my mind. Anyways, quantum compressor, there we go. Okay, so now all we need to do is we need to set up, uh, let's see, temporary, temporary setup here. Quantum compressor setting there. Let's get ourselves an export bus. 
We're also going to want four acceleration cards. We are going to want um, uh, just a piece of Fluix. It's the only other thing. We are going to attach the export bus there. We're going to tell it that it exports pistons. Four acceleration cards in there. Um, we're going to put the Elite Compressing Factory right there. We are going to need a power cell. So I'm just going to grab this one up here. There we go. And let's pop back down here. Set that up. It's pumping out power to the quantum compressor. There we go. And then if we just connect this up. And we give it just a second to activate and start sending pistons. There we go. It's now sending pistons. Now it's not going to be the fastest thing in the world. And that is because all my piston generation is through replication. Um, it's going to, it's actually going to run for a little bit though. Like the first thousand or something should be pretty quick. After that, it's going to slow down, but it's on a server and we're going to be doing server tours. So I'll keep an eye on it whenever it's, you know, whenever it gets to the 10,000 that it needs, I'm going to stop it and eject whatever's left over. And there we go. It's that easy. And if we take a look inside of here, it's running, it's making pistons. Um, I could put more overclockers in here. I mean, I've got the power generation to support it if I wanted to. I might. We'll see. But uh, I'm not in any, like, super rush for it. And let me go ahead and just clean this stuff up. We are going to be, like I said, we're going to be automating all this stuff here soon. Um, I just kind of wanted to make a mad rush for the matter condenser so that we could start getting, um, we could get the color applicator is the main reason I want it. The singularities, I guess, would be nice. We can go ahead and start building those up. But the main thing that I want is the color applicator. So, Okay. Well, that's done. We've made our rush for that. And so before we end up the episode, I do want to go through and complete some quests. So first up, the Empower. This quest is done. Let's go ahead and grab a loot chest. And then all of these are done. So let me just go down the line here. Okay. There we go. We got a bunch of loot chests. <laughs> From all of this. Terrestrial Artifact. Uh, we don't need that. It's used to make Lytherite crystals, but... We're not going to be using that because we've already got Lytherite. Um, technically, we did this, but I didn't, I didn't pull it out of the thing and actually hold it, so it didn't count. That's fine. Mechanism, we completed the Elite Tier Installer. We also got the Ultimate Control Circuit. And we've got a ton of loot boxes at the moment. And then also in... Uh, <clears throat> Thermal Expansion, We this quest right here, we get a Crescent Hammer, a Multimeter, and a Red Print. Let's go ahead, claim that, and of course it pops up and says, we have begun the Thermal Expansion quest line. Um, and then right here, technically we finished uh, this quest right here, but it's a little bit farther down the line. We did complete the Hardened Upgrade Kit many times over. The Reinforced Upgrade Kit. And the Signalum Upgrade Kit. And then technically we've done an Aqueous Accumulator and... Okay, maybe that's it. But um, we, have, we haven't actually unlocked this because we have to get energy sales, it looks like. Okay. But I think that's, uh, I think that's all the quests that we've got to turn in. So we got a bunch of stuff here. Let's see what all we got. First up, we got 8 General So's Chicken. Then we got 32 Bottles of Enchanting. 8 Resonant Filters. I'll definitely take that. 4 Basic Energy Relay Crystals. We'll definitely use those. 8 Garlic Chicken. 10 Fire Meals. Which, uh, we could actually use that. It's just free GP, really. Uh, 4 Auxiliary Transmission Coils. We'll definitely use those. Maybe. I don't know really how much we're going to use... Uh, dynamos. But. Uh, then we got 64 Astral Star Metal Coins. Uh, flux Electrum Block. That's actually kind of useful. Uh, an Advanced Power Cell. I'll definitely take that. 64 Lava Stone. Eh. And 8 Delighted Meals. We'll just dump it into there. <laughs> oh, and uh, the... Let me check something. The Machine Frame from Thermal Expansion. Can this be... 
scanned and replicated. Because something tells me that it can be. Aha! We can! Okay, I'll be right back whenever it's done and we'll see how many millibuckets it takes to make those. Okay, it's 40 millibuckets of UU per uh, machine block, machine frame. So, it's actually not all that bad. So I need to get this uh, into an automatic replicator and the heavy engineering blocks into an automatic replicator. Um, as well as I need to scan. I need to try scanning some other stuff since the most recent update to see if it can go in there, like light engineering blocks and the device frames and stuff like that. But um, Anyways, I know it's about wrapping up point for this episode, so I am going to end this one out here. Um, I'm going to have this stuff just running, just kind of in the background. There, yeah, we're up to a thousand pistons, so we're a tenth of the way done. Yay. Um, it is going to slow down a bit, but that's fine. I did toss in a few overclockers into this replicator, so we've got three overclockers making pistons. Uh, it's a little bit faster. Um, it's not really a pa an issue to run it at all. Like, the one that's making uh, the RTGs has five in it, so just because it's so slow. But this whole section over here doesn't have anything in it. Nothing in these replicators or pattern storage yet, and they're not even plugged up. So they're going to get some of those new items. So, I mean, I'm thinking like maybe one more section of replicators and uh, pattern storage, and then that's probably going to be enough, I think. We'll see. Uh, but anyways, next episode, whenever we come back, we are going to be doing server tours for a few episodes. And then after the server tours, I'm going to do a tour of the base because I have had a request of that. Just a full base tour of our base and, you know, go into spectator mode and all that stuff so you can see like, where all the sections of the base are placed. Of course, the base is far from done. We still have a lot of this pack left to go. <laughs> and a lot of building to go. But uh, we're going to do that. And then after that, we have a lot of stuff to do once we get back. Um, after the server tours. We have reactors to build. We have stuff to automate. We have magic to hit on. Thalmcraft to get back into. And go over the new stabilizers. And... Um, I want to set up a couple things within Thomcraft. We have quite a bit to do once we get once we get done with the server tours. So, <clears throat> um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, as always, be sure and hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe if you're not already to stay updated with when new videos come out. And I hope to see you guys next time. So until then, as always, do take care, stay safe. I'll see you guys then.